Okay, let's cut some glass. For practice, we've got a small piece of clear glass, four inches. Grab our glass cutter. Notice it has a screw. You want that facing up. It has a little wheel on the end that cuts the glass, but not your finger. When you score, you always want to go from one edge to another, and you can pull towards you or push away from you. It doesn't matter. Using nice, even pressure is the most important thing in getting a good score. You'll see that very faint line, kind of like a strand of hair on the glass. It's a good score. I'm going to grab my running pliers. They also have a screw, which you want pointing upward. And there's a line right here, which you align with the score. It has curved jaws that apply even pressure on both sides of your score to run that score. And every few cuts or so, you want to take your cutter wheel and run it across some paper toweling that's been soaked in cutting oil. It keeps it clean and lubricated. To cut on a line, you simply take your Sharpie and your ruler to make a line on the glass. This comes in handy, especially working with opalescent glasses. There's my line. Get my cutter, make sure the screw is up. And this time I'm going to push away from me so I can keep an eye on that line as I make my score. Nice even pressure. Grab my running pliers. Align the line with the score. Squeeze gently and run it. You can also cut gentle curves with a glass cutter. I'm going to push my score away from me so I can see my line. I've drawn better. Got my score. And to run it, I'm going to start from one end. You can see that it ran partially, and I'm going to finish it from the other side. And these are glass nippers. Great little tool. They've got round wheels that when you squeeze them together, break or nip off pieces of glass. You always want to use them with a container nipped downward in there so the glass doesn't fly around. You can nip small pieces like we're doing here, or you can use the tool to shape a piece of glass by nibbling off little bits at a time.